السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاتو. و علیکم السلام و رحمت الله و برکاتو. I like to welcome you to another session of stories during Ramadan. My name is Abu Kisses, the father of the stories, and this is my door to Simpson. The key to open up the door. I said, open sesame, they say. Open sesame. And how we open up the store of sesame, we speak the truth and we view it with our imaginations. Do you have an imagination? A big one or a little one? Mashallah. Very good. Because the smaller you are, the bigger your imagination. Very good. So I'd like to welcome you to another session. Um, before we open up, and before we introduce each other, I'd like for you please to recite for me Al Fatiha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Malik Yawmid Deen. Iyakan Abudwa Iyakan Astain. Ihdin al Sirat al Mustaqim. Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلك من شر ما حلك ومن شر غاثك إذا وكب ومن شر, ومن شر النفاثات في اللقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس القنات الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. ما شاء الله. It was a very beautiful source. The opening of the Fatiha, the class talking about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Close it up with Falak and close it up with Nas, asking Allah to protect us from the evils of the evil things that He has created. Right? These evil things that Allah has created, we seek refuge from them. Yeah? So in doing that and open up the door of Sim Sim, let us introduce each other. What is your name? Rayyan Anas. Rayyan Anas. Very good. Yasir Muzammil. Yasir Muzammil. Ayyash Faisal. Ayyash Faisal. Atik Anas. Atik Anas. Abdullah Ziyad. Abdullah Ziyad. Muhammad Saad Amir. Muhammad Saad Amir. Adil Faisal. Oh, how come you guys look alike? How come you guys look alike? Is that your brother? Yes. MashaAllah. Why do you look alike? You look alike. Why? Why do you look alike? You look the same. Are you twins? Yes. yes. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. It's wonderful. How old are you? 
11. 11. How old are you? 11. SubhanAllah, you're the same age. How are you the same age? You're twins. <laughs> Boy, you guys are nervous. Are you nervous? No? Good. Very good. What grade are you in? Fifth. In school. You're in the fifth grade? MashaAllah. What grade are you in? Fifth grade. Oh, you're both in the fifth. So you shouldn't fail. So if you fail, that's going to put you in the sixth grade. You'll be in the fifth grade again. Oh, you guys got to stay the same. Inshallah. Yeah? Alhamdulillah. Uh, so yesterday's story, we talked about... Who did we talk about yesterday in our story? Isa, they said. Isa, yes. And what about Isa? Uh, he and one of his companions was going, and they had three loaves of bread. Mm -hmm. And... They ate, each one of them ate one, mm -hmm. and there was one remaining. Then Isa alayhi salam went to the river to uh, drink some water. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, the last loaf of bread was missing. Okay. Who can pick up from there? From there. Who can, okay. Yes, go ahead. After what? that, when they were walking, Isa alayhi salam saw a gazelle. Mm -hmm. He said, Bismillah. Well, what did he say first when he came back from the, from the river? When the loaf of bread was in there, what did he say? He said, who took the loaf of bread? Mm -hmm. And what did his companion say? The companion said, I don't know. I don't know, yes. Okay. And now what happened? And then what happened? The gazelle, you said? Then after that, uh, Isa al was walking, he saw gazelle. Then uh, Isa al said, Bismillah, come to me. It came and he cut. And uh, he took the leg and roasted and eat. He was eating mm -hmm. as the lunch. Then he said Bismillah, and like magically it became life and went to the mother. Miraculously, it came became life and went to his mother. And what happened after that? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. He he went to the valley. He went to the valley and there was a river. Mm -hmm. He was crossing that. Mm -hmm. How? He both was crossing that. He swam across or how did he get across? He he walked on the river. Oh, he walked across the water. He walked across the river and What's passed it. On? And he said to the companion, see how is this miracle and then the companions, uh, Isa Salam asked the companion, uh, "Did you take the loaves of the loaves of some bread?" And the companion said, "I don't know." Subhanallah. Still, he didn't know. So what? From the from the morning, they had the breakfast. He said he didn't know. And lunch, he saw the the gazelle. He said he didn't know. Right? The miracle of the gazelle. They crossed the water. He said he didn't know. Even though the he saw the miracle of crossing the water. And then what happened after that? Go ahead. Okay, then give him the mic. Give him, go ahead. Isa alayhi salam and his companion was walking and going. Then Isa alayhi salam took three piles of sand and mixed it. And he said, Bismillah, and he blew it. The three piles of sand turned into gold. Mm -hmm. And then Isa alayhi salam said, one gold is for me, one gold is for his companion. And the other gold is for the man who ate the last piece of loaf. Then the, his companion said, I ate the loaf, I <laughs> ate the loaf. It mm -hmm. was a mistake. I didn't say it to you from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was a mistake. I was going to say it to you. Then Isa Salam said, that's good. You said the truth. And then Isa Salam said, all three golds are for you. Okay. And then what happened after that? And uh, and Isa alayhi salam go, go, go away mm -hmm. and he um, and he make the and and he and he make his companion and he said for him the, the three golds is for you mm -hmm. and the man uh, and the and his companion said I am this it is very good I am uh, very happy. I will. I am a rich man. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? And, um, and two men. The two, the two men, the two men come, and they say for him, we want uh, the gold of uh, of you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But the... Okay, we'll let him pick up from there. Okay, they said they wanted the gold. And then what happened? And they said they wanted the gold. And mm -hmm. then uh, uh, Isa, uh, not Isa, sorry, he, the, compa the companion told that, uh, okay, one, uh, one pie is for, for, for me, one pie is for you, and one pie is for the... Uh, other com uh, other guy, right? Other so the, guy. From the two guys that came, so that makes three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he told to one uh, one one guy, go bring a, a bag of, bag from the city. Go go get some breakfast, right? Bring a, a wagon and some breakfast. A, yes. A bag and some breakfast. Okay. And then go ahead, give the mic to him. And then what happened? Uh, breakfast after that. He went on. He to went uh, to take the. And he had the idea to do what to, to the to the to, to the food. To take the food. Mhm. Mm and while he was going, mm -hmm. uh, a whisper came and said him that to put, put poison put to poison eat, in the to food, the food. Yeah. And and the. And at the same time, the people in the back they, they thought what they said. What they do? The people they that were left, the two guys they left behind. They said what? They said. Uh, let's kill. Let's, let's kill, kill this guy when he back. comes back. Yeah. Then the companion said that it's a good idea, mm. and and he went to and he was bringing the food mm -hmm. there. Then the two men uh, tried uh, killed him, and they tried they ate the food, and mm -hmm. they both died. Mashallah. Okay. What happened after that? The end. And then. At the end, no one of them got the gold. Mm. They just left away. They all died. And the gold still remained. Huh? And then what happened? When Jesus came back with his companions, he told them what? Uh, he told them that. You need to be careful because what? This is the way of the world, yes? This yes. Is the, what does Jesus mean when he says, this is the way of the world? What does that mean, this is the way of the world? When mm -hmm. Jesus said that, this mm -hmm. is the way of the world, what does that mean? If they are so greedy, they die very soon? Yes, subhanAllah. Greed, right? Greed. We're not satisfied. You know, this is, and this is what makes people so sad in their lives, you know, that they're not satisfied with, uh, they're not satisfied with, uh, with what they have. You know, this is a, this is a really, it's a problem. What else do we get from this story? We should be always truthful. To always tell the truth. Why? Why should we also tell the truth? Why? What's the difference if I tell a lie here or there? If you tell a lie, you can tell a lie to a person, but you cannot tell, escape from Allah. Mm. Allah hears and knows everything, yes? If you, if you tell a lie, you will say many lines and, and get on the cave of lies. Yes, right. So if you told, say for example, you told one lie, so because you told that lie, you have to remember what the lie that you told. So when you see someone else, you tell another lie. But it wasn't quite like the first lie. And then the person who you told the second lie to, talk to the person you told the first lie to, and the person says, well, no, he didn't say it like that to me. He said it like this. So then they come back, and then they, they come, they come to, the, to, the third, to the person who told the lie, said, you said this, and then you said that. But what really happened? Oh, well, this really happened. And he tells another lie, right? Then they have to tell another lie and another lie. And tell another lie, and another lie. And then after that, there's another lie, and another lie. And then you never stop. And you become a liar. And who wants to become a liar when no one believes you? Right? When no one will believe you. Right? Do you remember the story? Do you remember the story of the, the little boy and the wolf? Yes. Yes, right? The little boy, he went out to the, um, to the mountains with the sheep. The people of the, the the people's sheep of the city, yes. 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 And in, and in joking, what did he do? He shouted. He shouted wolf, wolf. He shouted wolf, 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 right? And then the people, then the people came, right? Where's the wolf? Ah ha 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 ha! I tricked you! Ha ha ha! I had wolf in you, <laughs> and you came. <laughs> <laughs> the people said okay, and they went back. And then what happened again? Again, he he shouted, "Wolf, wolf, 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 
Wolf! The people came. Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? We're gonna kill a wolf. Where's the wolf? Ah! <laughs> joke on you! Joke on you! Told you, joke, joke on you! <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I said, Wolf, and you came. You guys are so funny. Ah, you're so funny. Ah, you're so funny. He was like, okay. And what happened? The third time? Yes? The third time, again, uh, the boy shouted, the Wolf, 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 but this time, the ma the men didn't come. Mm, and what happened? So the wolf ate the boy. There was a real wolf that came this time, right? A wolf came. A big wolf. A wolf came this time. And the boy was shouting, Wolf! Wolf! Please! Wolf! Help me! Please! Wolf! Wolf! And the people in the city said, It's just a little boy telling jokes again. He lied two times. How can we believe him the again? The third time, yes. And what happened? And the wolf ate him. Mm. So really, it's not good to tell lies. Really. And it's always good to tell the truth. So from this story, we, we learned that to be truthful, not to be greedy, right? To be kind. You know what I'm saying? When you see miracles, believe in the miracles, right? When you see things happen before you that are not normal things, and you know that it's from the help of Allah, that should only increase your faith in Allah, not push you away, right? It should only increase your faith in Allah, not push you away from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Isn't that so? Yes, yes. So we should always be truthful in the things we do, be kind in the way that we act, right? And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings mercy and brings good to us, it should, we should believe it, understand it, and let it what? To increase our faith. That is so, so important. Really, Allah, man, it's so important. Going, going good deeds, right? But should we do good deeds in order for the, everyone to see? No. We should do it for the sake of Allah. Do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? We do good deeds for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah will, will increase the reward, yes? Increase yes. our reward, right? If we make the intentions, right? Because our religion is based on what? Intention. Intention. SubhanAllah, isn't that something? Allah blesses us on intention. What's intention? The thinking in the mind. The thinking in the mind before the action. The thought in the mind before the action, yes? That's what good intention is, right? So if we think of something good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us good blessings for it. If we think of doing something good and we don't do it, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us blessing for it. If we think of doing something good and actually do it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the double the blessings for it, right? So it's always good to think good, right? Because what are we trying to prepare our lives for? We're trying to prepare our lives for when? For tomorrow? Or for the hereafter? For the hereafter. For the hereafter. Well, can I, can, on, on Judgment Day, can I write a check to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if I have a million dollars? Can I say, Ya Allah, let me write you a check for a million dollars, let me into paradise? No. No, we cannot, right? On that day, on Judgment Day, all we have is what? Our good works, our good deeds, the things that we, we, we collected for ourselves, that we stored for ourselves in this life. And that's why it's important that we try to do as best we can in this life, right? And if we make a mistake, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. Yes? That's so important. That whenever you make a mistake, you ask Allah to forgive you. Because what? Are we angels? No. Is anybody here an angel? No. No, no we're human. And Allah created us to make mistakes. So when we do make mistakes, we ask Allah to forgive us. That's really important. When you make a mistake, you ask Allah to forgive you. Yeah? That's so important. And Allah will forgive you if you ask. There's nothing that you can do that Allah will not forgive you. Right? And let us not be greedy like that man. Ended up with three stacks of gold and, and nothing in the end. Absolutely nothing. Uncle Hamoudi is back there waving his hands and he's saying the clock on the wall says that's all. So it's time for us to close the doors to Simpson. So as we close the doors with our magical words, what do we say? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Until the sun sets and the moon rises again, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for staying tuned. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Mm-hmm.